Welcome again. Today we look at how to find the amount of calcium carbonate in an eggshell. Before we get into the actual investigation, we will try to predict the outcome of our analysis. Assuming that all of the 0.6 grams that we are about to use in this analytical method is made of calcium carbonate. So assuming that we have 100% calcium carbonate in an eggshell, we will then try to predict the outcome of what is known as a back titration. But because we are going to be doing the back titration in reverse, then we are actually considering things in the forward direction. So we begin with 0.6 grams of eggshell, assuming that the entire 0.6 grams is made of calcium carbonate. Our technique requires this eggshell to be crushed into a powder and we can calculate that 0.6 grams is made up of 0 0.0059 moles of calcium carbonate. And this is reacted with hydrochloric acid, 20 milliliters, which is an excess of one molar hydrochloric acid. These 20 milliliters contain 0 0.02 moles. And given the mole ratio of calcium carbonate to hydrochloric acid, then it follows that if we have 0 0.0059 moles of calcium carbonate, then 0 0.0118 moles of hydrochloric acid will be required to completely react with all of the carbonate. Then the remainder of acid would be 0 0.0082 moles, the difference between 0 0.02 and 0 0.0118. This excess of hydrochloric acid is very important for the next stage of the analysis. And then we move on and the 0.0082 moles is transferred into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask and the volume made up to 100 milliliters. Then a 10 milliliter aliquot is removed using a pipette and added to an Erlenmeyer flask. Phenolphthalein indicator is added and we are now ready to titrate with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. And going into the Erlenmeyer flask in the 10 milliliter aliquot is a tenth of the original number of moles because after putting 0.0082 moles into the 100 milliliter flask and making up to the 100 ml mark then a 10 milliliter aliquot is removed so it would have one tenth of the actual number of moles in the flask. So 0 0.00082 moles of hydrochloric acid is introduced into the Erlenmeyer flask and phenolphthalein indicator is added. And then we titrate with 0 0.10 molar sodium hydroxide. And given these concentrations, we can expect that the required volume of sodium hydroxide would be the number of moles 0 0.00082 divided by the concentration 0 0.1 and that would give us a volume of 0 0.0082 dm cube which comes to 8.2 milliliters and this is the volume that you would expect at the end of your analysis assuming that the eggshell was made of complete calcium carbonate. But the literature suggests that eggshells are made up of about 94% calcium carbonate. So if it is that the entire eggshell is not made of calcium carbonate, then it means that a little less acid would be required to neutralize the carbonate. And it means that we can expect a bit more of excess hydrochloric acid and then it would take just a bit more of sodium hydroxide in our actual analysis. So we can now move into the eggshell analysis 
using all of this information and expect a titer value of somewhere around 9 milliliters. But now it's your turn to go into the lab and carry out this quantitative analysis using the technique of back titration.